Yo, what's going on guys, boy Shadow, Kid the Frozen Shadow Collector, welcome to another Disney related video on my channel. So, as you can see before you guys, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the one and only Mega Red Limited Edition doll from the Hercules movie. So, this is a 25th anniversary doll, we have not gotten an anniversary doll from the Hercules movie before, so this is the first of its kind. I don't believe we're going to get another Mega Red anytime soon, maybe for... The 35th anniversary, I don't think we're going to get it for the 30th anniversary, to be honest. Maybe for the 30th anniversary, we might get a Hercules doll. It's still up in the air if we're, still, if we're going to get anything from the D23 Expo. We shall see what happens. I don't think we're going to get anything in terms of Hercules, limited edition dolls, but you never know. So this is what we're going to be doing for today's video. If you guys are excited for this, be sure to that thumbs up. Be sure to that sub button down below. Without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. All right, let's hop right in. All right, so this is a limited edition of 7200 worldwide. So I have not seen any, like, data or any spreadsheet uh, whatsoever as to how they divided this between the many websites out there. Because they did for the Asia site, which consists of Hong Kong, Australia, a bunch of other places. They did for the UK store, they did for the Japan store, they did for the US store, so how many they sent to each store is up in the air. I just know at the time of this recording, there is no longer any listed for the US store whatsoever. For the UK store, I believe she's still on there at the time of this recording. I'm pretty sure she is. I'm not sure how much longer she's going to be there, but I do know that the scalpers are having a field day on eBay as we speak. <laughs> so let's start talking about the Mega doll herself. So inside the box she looks absolutely phenomenal. They did a great job for the 25th anniversary box. I really like how they captured the whole goddess and the whole god aspect of the box and how it portrays the movie very well. Like it's very like reminiscent of how it is in the movie like the artistic style with all the clouds and whatnot. And I really like this right here, how it's written in the same writing as Hercules um, from the movies. So that's pretty cool that they did that. And of course, we got a nice 25th anniversary sticker up here on the top right on your screen. On the top, it says Hercules, which is accurate because it's Hercules the movie. It's just weird because it's on a a Meg doll, <laughs> a Megal doll, however you want to say it. But yes, this box. She looks absolutely phenomenal and no doubt about it. She looks so good in my opinion. I do have a second one so I do not feel bad about the boxes whatsoever. So yeah, I always have that in the back pocket. I, I knew that she would sell out pretty fast. Of course she was a pretty high edition size so it took a little longer than usual for it to sell out. But it, there was no doubt in my mind that she was going to sell out. And soon enough on every other shop Disney website she will no longer be there but only time will tell well how long that will take so let's start turning the box around so we get different views of it so unlike the Disney designer line this doesn't have Meg's name on the side of the boxes like the designer dolls do but nonetheless she does look pretty cool from this angle it's nothing fancy on this angle in terms of the box itself but nonetheless it's Still pretty cool. So let's move on to the back. So I tied the string for you guys so you guys can read this. I'll get a nice close up for you guys to read it on your own. But nonetheless, the art of this back side of this box looks absolutely phenomenal, guys. I absolutely love it. I mean, the Pegasus that's on each corner right here and right here, it just looks so good. They did a very amazing job capturing Hercules the movie on this box. So yeah, go ahead and pause the video. It is in French and in English, so here's the French one right here. It's a lot shorter than the designer doll boxes, so it's a lot easier to read. <laughs> yeah, because on the designer boxes, it's basically telling you everything about the doll and the inspiration and whatnot. This one is pretty much inspiration. It kind of tells you a little bit about Meg's character in the movie. It's pretty much what, what it tells you. And then a bunch of legal stuff on the bottom. <laughs> 
But yeah, what I love about these 17 inch dolls is the fact that on the top, as you can see right there, there's a strap that you can use to carry the dolls around. I absolutely love that. For me, that is like a huge advantage point. This right here, this is what I live for. This strap right here, this, this I just love so much. I know other people don't like it as much as I do, but to me, it is just phenomenal. So, I'm going to start deboxing her, not completely, I just want to get her outside of the plastic container and all that stuff, so the people who like to display her without the outer box entirely can see what she looks like without it. So, this is what she looks like without the outer box on it. Uh, if I take the plastic coating off, it's going to be more or less the same, just without the reflection and it's going to be a lot clearer. I feel like this is the way that most people are going to display her without the auto box because this way there is no dust getting through because the plastic covering kind of protects the doll. So I'm pretty sure this is what most people are going to do. So here you go. This is what she'll look like if you do choose to display her like this. Take a good hard look because I'm going to be doing a speed run of deboxing her. For you guys, it's going to be time lapse. For me, it's going to be like 30 minutes or 25 minutes. So I'll see you guys all on the other side. Alright, here we go. So, Meg is completely out of the box right now. So, I have the Certificate of Authenticity in my hand right here. I got number 2377 for those who are curious as to what number I got. I don't know what the number of the other one is because I didn't open it yet. I probably won't open it to be honest, but nonetheless, we're here to analyze Meg herself. So, she looks absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love what they did with this doll so much. So we're going to start from the head and we're going to go down below. So let me just adjust the camera a little so we get to eye level right here. So we're going to eye level. And here we go. So with the face itself, as you can see right here, we got rooted eyelashes right up in here. So... That is always a huge, huge plus right there. Her hair is absolutely phenomenal. If we turn her around a little bit, we can get a good look of that gorgeous hair. I believe it does gel in it, so that's why it's able to stay put as well as it is. I'm pretty sure that Ariel 30th Anniversary Mermaid doll also had gel in the hair. That's why it's able to stay the way it is for a very long time. I know some people like to wash the hair so that it feels all natural and all stuff, all that stuff. That's completely up to you if you want to do that. I'm pretty sure these earrings are made of like metallic gold and honestly they look absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they feel nice and firm for sure. They really did a great job with this mag. I love the makeup they did here. Unfortunately, there's no rooted eyebrows. It's kind of just painted on, but Nonetheless, it looks really good in my opinion. Her hairstyle just looks so phenomenal. I love what they did with it. And we got this gold, um, metallic gold. I'm not sure what to call that. I want to say it's like a hair brooch or something like that. It's what you would call it. It does have like a little zip tie thing or something that's keeping it in the hair. I'm not going to take that out. If you guys want to on your doll, you can, but... Personally, I'm just going to leave it in just in case. That's what's keeping it there. But yeah, the makeup on this Meg doll looks absolutely phenomenal. I love the hairstyle. It really captures that scene in the movie where she's like 
full on flirting with Hercules, trying to know his weakness and all that stuff. So, if you've seen my previous videos, I was concerned about this portion. I do wish this was a purple strap, like it, how it is in the movie, but I'll take the metallic gold chain that's keeping the metallic gold straps. I think that looks good as well. I just wish it was the purple strap rather than the metallic gold, but nonetheless, it does look good. I just think it would be more movie accurate if it was the other way, but it's completely okay. So, if we look at this, I don't know what to call this. I think on the Shop Disney website, they call it a shawl, something like that. But nonetheless, it got gold embroidery all around it. It looks absolutely phenomenal. So, I'm not sure what's keeping it up, but it is wrapped around her arm, so... I'm assuming that's what's keeping it up because there's no pins or anything that's make it stay like that. So clearly this is made of good enough material to um allow it to stay. I think that's all glitter that's on there. If I'm not mistaken, if we zoom in on that. Pretty sure this is all glitter right here. I think so. Feels nice, to be honest. I like the texture of it. Alright, so if we zoom out a little and look at this chest piece right here. So, I've noticed on every single doll in every promo picture, it's actually different. Sometimes it's like spread out as two, like this bottom layer will be more pulled out. On others, it's just this top layer that's more presented. Yeah, if we pull this down, it's more movie accurate based because it's really just highlighting over her breasts and the movie itself with something just going around right here. So I do think they cheaped out a little bit on that. Um I think they could have done a little better job in terms of that, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Feels nice. This feels nice too. So the body portion when it comes to embroidery, it's mostly on, like, the shawl and the bottom overskirt itself. And if we look more down here, we can see more embroideries right here, as well as rhinestones embedded into the dress itself. It's a very nice, very authentic dress. It looks very, very good, in my opinion. So if we turn it around a little bit, we can see how... The pattern goes all the way around the dress. Unfortunately, this bod is all empty, but it's okay. And then if we lift this up, we see more of that lovely embroidery with more wrap stones on this side. And then we got this nice underskirt right here. This, I think they did a very good job with. Um, I do think it should be a lighter shade. Than what's presented here. I don't know why on the camera it looks so dark. But um, in person it's not as dark. So I th it definitely could benefit from a lighter shade of purple. That's for sure. More violet probably would have worked. And then underneath here with the shoes. Oh my god we got gold. We got gold heels. Hold on. So right here we got gold heels. These look super good. Oh wow, they they really did a nice job with these heels down here. Sometimes I skip the footwear, um, especially on the designer dolls, but on this Meg doll, it just looks so fitting right here. They did a really great job with the design of this doll. I do wish it was purple though, because in the movie, in that scene, they are purple heels instead of this gold, but I think... For the price of this doll, it fits better that it is gold rather than purple. That's just my opinion. You guys can let me know what you think down below. But last but not least, what we got right here is a nice little rose. I do think they could have put more money into the rose itself. That's just my opinion. Um, It's not terribly cheap, but they definitely could have done better. Luckily, it has a little handle, so you can just slide it onto it, so 
You could do a bunch of different poses if you chose to. Um, yeah, it's just, it's so nice that they did that. And then on here we got a nice gold blaze bracelet, metallic gold bracelet. And then we got this little brooch thing right here on the side with metallic gold chains running along to the side over here. And then we got these nice little, nice little pelts going around here. This actually looks really good. I really like what they did with this doll. Honestly, all in all, I think this doll looks amazing. You guys can let me know what you think down below. But to me, she looks phenomenal. So I'm going to show the other doll next to this one so you can see the before and after. Alright, here you go. So, we got one Meg inside the box and one outside the box. You guys let me know what you think down below. I absolutely love this doll. I like, I love what they did with it. Do I think it has some issues that they could have done better? Absolutely. But I think for the first official 17-inch Meg doll that we've gotten from Shop Disney, it looks pretty good. But you guys let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you all in the next one.